Space debris is a very complicated problem to solve because uh, look at this. Small debris can damage a very big plate of metals. All these debris will become a new threat for other objects. So you have a kind of uh, cascading effect. At some point, you reach a state where there are debris everywhere, and even for a satellite that is able to maneuver, uh, you would spend most of your time maneuvering and no time doing any mission or science. To address the problematic of debris, you must uh, address the different fields of the, the question. There is the legal aspect, there is the technological aspect, there is the operation aspect. So at CNES, we believe that it's necessary to gather all these people at the same place. And that's why now we have created a division dedicated to debris removal, debris mitigation, and space traffic management and space surveillance. At CNES, we monitor dense space traffic through uh, different methods. We have the TARO telescope sensor network, uh, which helps us get measurements from space debris. Uh, we also monitor all satellites throughout their life, so from launch to uh, re-entry. And also we do here at CNES the monitoring of atmospheric re-entry that can pose a risk to population on ground. The number of objects is rapidly growing with uh, companies like SpaceX that provide uh, cheap access to, to space. We have partners around Europe in the EOSST partnership where we all share in a common pool some data for space safety. To avoid collision in space, uh, CNES has developed a system that is called KSR, that is collision avoidance system. We have different subjects we're working on. So for example, we have multiple algorithms of probability of collision computation, cataloging algorithm, filtering algorithm. On top of algorithms, we also have uh, different uh, means of communication with the operator or owner of any satellites. If any asset involved in the conjunction uh, plans on a maneuver, the other one has to be aware of it and has to not maneuver to make sure that uh, some catastrophe doesn't happen. The action of CNES was at the beginning uh, with a, a national uh, purpose. Uh, for example, we have written the French Space Operation Act, which is the, the, the first technical regulation that put in the law requirements in order to mitigate debris. So the French Space Operation Act was initially created in 2008. Uh, a few years back, we identified the need to update this regulation. So the emergence of the new space era environment um, calls for better supervision of space traffic. And this update was necessary also to provide a clear framework for new innovative activities, which didn't exist in the past. Uh, a lot of countries nowadays still don't have a clear regulatory framework to enable clear rules regarding safety and sustainability of space activities. So we are striving at communicating as much as possible on our developments for the French Space Operation Act to help these new actors also develop their own regulations. These rules help us to avoid debris. But to, to be compliant with these rules, we need some technologies. And so we work on, on, on several technologies that main objectives is to minimize the production of debris in space and technologies that are cheaper and uh, that uh, are uh, easy to use. One of uh, very interesting technology we, we are developing is detumbler. What is a detumbler? It's a, a small device that will be able to, to keep the satellite in the same position even if this satellite is died. Normally, when you have a satellite in space with no control, the satellite will become to, uh, to, to tumble. And with this small device, who will uh, manage the magnetic field of Earth, you will stabilize the satellite. And uh, in, in the future, it will be more easier to, to come and catch uh, the satellite. And it's a passive device, so you, you just buy the device, uh, put it on the, on the satellite, so simple, and very uh, efficient technology. These technology are here to uh, help uh, industry to keep competitiveness, even if they have some uh, binding rules to be compliant. CNES has been working on space sustainability for several years. The space debris is the tragedy of common, so the action of CNES cannot be uh, enough, actually. So we need to work with all the different nations, with all the different space agencies. So we need to reach all the space actors in order that they have the good behaviors now.